I'm Margaret Martin, registered physical therapist and certified strength and conditioning specialist. And I've seen so many people get hurt doing the Superman pose that I want to share with you why you shouldn't do it, but also how you can modify it to help your back. It's true, the Superman is bad. And that has actually been shown in studies going way back into the 60s and newer studies by Dr. Stuart McGill that it is the most compressive exercise that you can do for your back. This is an issue whether you're 20 or you're 80 because in your 20s, that high compressive force is putting excessive load on your disc. That's going to lead to potentially a disc herniation or a disc bulge, something that's very common in your 20s, 30s, 40s, and even 50s. When you get over the age of 50, that excessive disc pressure starts to erode weaker bones. Definitely something you don't want to do if you have osteoporosis. Now, that's just all about disc. When it comes to the little joints in the small of our back called the facet joints, that excessive hyperlordosis or hyperextension that comes with the Superman or in yoga, the locust pose, that motion is going to lead to early arthritic changes in your spine. So if you already know you have facet joint syndrome or you have arthritic changes, you are just simply going to aggravate your back more by doing that pose. What I want to share with you today are the two really great exercises you can take from the Superman, but break up the Superman, use some cushions under your pelvis and make them safe and a beautiful exercise to strengthen your back. So let's get started. So one of the issues when doing the Superman is you notice that just lying flat, I already have a little arch in my low back. Now, if I was a bustier woman, I might be up here and have even more arch in my low back. So then by doing the Superman, I would be even hyperextending my back even more, which means the jamming of the little joints and the creation of all that pressure in my low back. If I add lifting of the legs on top of it, it is just excessive compression and excessive lordosis. Most of the people that are comfortable doing that are already hypermobile. It's definitely going to be taking you to, into a space that you will regret as you get older. And so alternatives that I'm going to suggest are that you use at least one pillow. And if you're already getting some arthritic changes, you might want to use two. You're also going to want to use two pillows if you have larger breasts. So placing those pillows so that most of your pelvis is well supported, but your breasts are off the pillow, allows your spine now to start in a little gentle neutral position and you have some flexion at your hips. So if I wanted to break down the Superman, I could take the best of the lower leg lift and I would take that lower leg lift and simply dorsiflex or pull my toes in, tighten the muscles at my knee, and lift up. If I go beyond that, all that's happening is I'm starting to hyperextend my back again. So I want to drop it down to where again, I'm just getting all the benefit, nice glute strengthening. I can feel the muscles of my lower back work just because they are part of the action of getting the extension. They're an accompanying muscle when you contract your gluteus maximus. So that's a beautiful exercise without compressing your disc or compressing the little joints in your back. So I would encourage, obviously, if you do the right side, that you also do the left side. And also, since you're not producing a video, I would also encourage you to have your head either on a towel or on your, or resting on the backs of your hands. Now, to get the benefit of the Superman, but with the upper body, we come back down and you can either start with your arms down by your side in external rotation. You notice if I don't pay attention to the rotation of my arms, 
Most people will hang out here, which is already where we are all day long. And as we try to come up from here, we can come up from here, but I stay in a protracted position and more supporting the slump position that we have all day. So rather, turning the thumbs towards the floor, keep turning the arms. Some of us will have only this much external rotation. And then if you have more external rotation, the way I'm demonstrating here, and I know I do have a bit of excessive external rotation, that's going to encourage, but even if you just get to neutral, that's going to encourage you to pull the shoulder blades back. So now you can get your scapular retraction and some beautiful back muscle work, keeping your feet grounded all the while, so you're reducing the amount of compression. A very, very important exercise that you've all done before at about age four months. And that was how, repeated over and over again, you develop the strength as a human being to be able to sit and stand and be functional. Now, if that gets easy, and when we say easy, that you can do 10 repetitions, holding each one for eight to 10 seconds, then you go, oh, my set is feeling easy. I can do 12 or 15. Then you wanna make that exercise a little bit more aggressive. And you can do that simply by the weight of your arms. So you can start to move your arms in a different position and gradually bring it up towards that Superman position. And you can transition but if you feel as you're doing this that your legs are starting to come up again, then that is too aggressive or you have to reposition your cushions so that you're keeping your feet grounded. All very important so that you're not lifting both the legs and the torso at the same time because as I mentioned earlier, that's far too compressive. So now you have the two modifications that you combine the best of the Superman lifting the legs alone, one at a time, or lifting your torso with alternative arm positions. But when one half is lifting, the other half is still to the ground. And you definitely wanna use support under your pelvis so that your back is not hyperextending and that you are keeping things neutral and healthy and strong. And lastly, I encourage you to strengthen the front half of your body. And that's where beautiful core work through planks and side planks come in. And I have a playlist for you just on that. I wanna thank you for joining me today. I hope you stay safe, play safe, and have a wonderful day.